everyone, it's Char. Welcome back to my channel. It is a very late on this fine Tuesday evening, although the time that I'm posting this should work perfectly for those of you on the East Coast. A few days ago, I made a video where I was doing a 10 minute build challenge. And while I think that was mostly a fail, I said I would come back and I would renovate this house, which is what I ended up doing. The first thing that I knew I wanted to do for this house was that I wanted to make it bigger because the living room felt very squishy. And my vision for this home is that it's a home in Brightchester, so obviously it's for the university students. But in my mind, this home is for like a professor or young faculty members. It's college provided housing for faculty and staff of the colleges. So that was the theme I went with. This house kind of has been in place for a long time. I wanted it to feel a little bit older. I wanted it to feel not generic, but like roughly generic, a uh, generic academia home. And that is what I went for. And of course, while I was listening to this, I was listening to an audiobook. I was listening to Bright Young Women, which let me tell you was one heck of an experience to build this home and listen to that book, just because that book is so emotionally charged and very difficult to read because of the subject matters that it is handling. But I'm happy with how this home turned out. And largely, I'm using this video as an excuse to catch you up with life because my gosh, this week has been so freaking stressful. And if I'm being honest, the past two weeks or three weeks have been really stressful because I'm back in the swing of things. So having meetings for the majority of my days, like no joke at all. Yesterday, I worked like 11 hours. It was absolutely wild. And I was very, very, very stressed out. And I'm very, very, very stressed out now. Because something exciting is I'm going on a little weekend getaway. It is a girl's trip with my best friend and my college roommate, which is going to be such a good time. And I'm really excited to see both of them and to hang out and just to have a good time. But of course, I need to do some pre-filming and some pre-planning because I'm falling behind. And that's one of the things that I set for myself when I made the goal to post three videos a week on this channel is that I knew there would be times where life gets in the way. So my personal goal around that was if I had to miss uploads, being okay with that and still having three uploads a week being my goal. But knowing that I have a full-time job, it takes up a lot of my time and attention. It's very demanding and I get sick really easily. Like I've gotten sick twice already in the month of January. I have been super busy, but of course I'm always loving playing The Sims. It is a fun escape for me building, especially because it lets me listen to audiobooks and do other cozy things while I am building. But that is the update for where exactly I've been and what I've been doing. I also want to let you know that, I don't know, I'm just, like I said, I'm just feeling overwhelmed. I find The Sims pretty relaxing, but struggling to find a balance at this point in my life. All of the good thing is that I picked up cozy crafts <laughs> for the new year. I started doing that in 2023, but in 2024, my dream and my vision and my goal for myself is to do more artistic things without care for if it's quote unquote good. I'm dropping the idea of talent. There is no such thing as talent in my life for this year. It really is just me having a good time and enjoying the things that I'm doing. And if I had a good time doing those things, then it was a successful crafting adventure. So crochet, I think I'm getting fairly good at things that I'm still learning, but definitely getting fairly good at with uh, cross stitching. That's such a fun activity for me. I want to get back into diamond painting as well. I'm going to try punch needling and I also really want to try drawing, but drawing is my last venture. It's perhaps the things I have the most complex feelings for because I always believe that I was a quote unquote not talented at drawing, but drawing is a skill and there are ways to learn how to draw. So I'm hopeful that I pick up that hobby this year. And yeah, there's so many videos that I want to post for you all like Let's Plays. I really want to get back into Not So Berry. As I've mentioned in previous videos, Not So Berry isn't my most popular challenge, but I genuinely love the Not So Berry challenge so much. It's like really fun for me, especially because it's so structured and what it is that we do with the individual characters. I also want to get back into whimsy stories. But what I find is that in real time, in my real life, one, two, three weeks can go by and it doesn't feel like it's been three weeks because I'm just busy. Um, I'm living my life and hang out with my friends and hang out with my family and I'm working. And so it doesn't feel like a long time. 
But when I look at my channel and my videos, I'm like, damn, three weeks is a really long time to go without posting a Let's Play episode. So thank you for your patience as I continue to work on that throughout my journey with this channel. And for every single one of you who are here, I just really appreciate you being here. I'm also playing rags to riches on my channel, which is so fun. I just have to find the time to play it within my schedule. This video honestly is me complaining about how stressed out and busy I am for the past several weeks, but things will calm down. I know that I'm having some trips that I want to plan. Like I really want to go to Disney and I really want to go to Singapore and I would love to go to South Korea at some point, but that's more of a like a long-term vision. I want to have a beach vacation somewhere, maybe Barbados. I'm not sure. It's just ideas that I have in my mind at this point. We're pretty much at the end of this video. I'm just doing landscaping because if I've learned anything by building The Sims 4 is that you can make anything look a little bit better with some landscaping. And this house, what I think that she's very cute and would look super cute in somewhere like new crafts doesn't fit in with university but that's okay it's a challenge house it's not a save file house so it's fine for me to experiment and to play and as i was watching this footage back i realized i forgot to put a stair a stair railing upstairs it's technically fine because your sims are not gonna like you know fall down the stairs it's not an animation that exists for them but also it's like damn girl that looks odd you know why it looks odd it's because you forgot to put some stairs up there but we're pretty much at the end of the build now where I'm just finalizing the home with some finishing decor pieces, adding some clutter around, adding some curtains, and I'm really happy with how it turns out. I think that it's a good blend of generic like renter home while also still having some touch of personality of previous people who had lived there and things that were left behind like the movie posters and some of the clutter around the home. Terrain paint does tend to make a world of difference when it comes to these kinds of builds and we are at the very end of this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your patience. I appreciate you being here and I'm going to see you in my next video. Have a lovely whatever it is that you're having and I will see you next time. Bye.